How you doing everybody? Barney Kunze from Pinnacle Health and Fitness shooting live in Elmira with uh, my other bald-headed good-looking man friend uh, Bruce Martin who just did a cool little video on balance and uh, speaking from experience Bruce is there he's um, well into his 50s or should I say just into his 50s just turned five always says behind the camera and it's really cool that he, you know he shares that message to you guys about balance because um, I'm just over half of Bruce's age and you know some people might think well I don't have as much to share about balance you know if I'm not maybe as old because there's that old adage saying that most most of the time wisdom comes with age not always but in Bruce's case we'll say that that's true uh, so what I wanted to share with you was something about we uh, as the, the message with in regards to balance my contribution to this uh, month's pinnacle press is about nutrition and balance and I had a conversation today actually in the club about a client who came and asked me a question about I need more fiber I need more something in my diet because I just don't feel like I'm getting enough I'm always picking and trying to find whatever it is that I can just you know stuff down the hat so to speak that wasn't exactly the words that she used um, but just basically what it was is that she was finding feeling challenged with not really knowing what to eat how much of, to eat certain things that are waving to people in the camera um, and so I just wanted to show you something a meal that I created and a couple other things that I use on a daily basis to keep myself balanced I do my fair share of subjecting myself to stress um, to sometimes allowing myself to get out of balance and while we're talking about balance it is actually a good thing to come out of balance because in order for something to come into balance it needs to be out of balance so that you know what out of balance means in order to rebalance it then so one of the things is I use I have a glass container and I use this for all of my tea and when I do drink coffee from a robin's nest of course um, and right now I've actually got some chaga all in here or some chaga you guys are going to hear a lot more about this in this month's pinnacle press uh, but again, I use chaga in my life, my daily life, um, to help keep balance in my body, to heal my endocrine system, my hormonal system, my nervous system, and my body just in general. Um, and so uh, you're going to be hearing more and more about this as we come up. Uh, keep going with the pinnacle press. And another one that I use is Chaga Max, and um, I use it three capsules in the morning with breakfast and then three at lunch. Uh, and more explanation is going to come about the Chaga Max. I also use this at coffee drinks, drinkers out there. If you're a coffee drinker, uh, I, I run into a lot of clients day in, day out at the club saying, you know, oh yeah, I drink one or two cups of coffee a day, or yeah, I drink one or two cups of coffee an hour. Believe it or not, we have had a, I've had people, and in the last three months, that have told me that they drink. Uh, the record that I remember in the past three months has been up to 14 cups of coffee in one day. And that's the fastest way to throw your body out of balance. So the way that you can bring it back into balance is using something like this as a coffee substitute, um, Chaga Black, and it's a, a perfect balance, or I find it is a perfect balance, of uh, the Chaga, and it has wild rose hips in it. And it actually gives you a bit of a bold flavor, so it's perfect if you do like co coffee or a really dark tea. Um, it, it, it's a perfect replacement for it and it tastes phenomenal and the benefits are that you're just going to feel your mental focus is going to be sharper, your mental acuity is going to be much cleaner, um, energy levels are going to be much higher, who couldn't use that and uh, I find that sleep is much more improved as well. So that's pretty cool and then there's also the Chago Power which is in a liquid format and there's a little droppers you can see up at the top, you can put that under the tongue, uh, the emulsified drops and apply it sublingually which is under the tongue. Okay. Um, I use these for convenience. I don't lean on them so that I'm always using them. But what I do do is I use these as this is a Kawaii bar and this is a Vega uh, Shake and Go Smoothie. So I always keep these in my bag. If you stop me at any given time and say, Barney, I want to check your gym bag, of course, your Pinnacle gym bag, and I want to see what's in it. I can guarantee you what's going to be in there is I'm going to have my workout clothes, I'm going to have my uh, sandals, and I'm going to have a, a full supply of chaga. And I'm also going to have probably some, for either a kawaii bar or two or three, and one of these as well, because I don't want to be anywhere at any given time and be really hungry and then resorting to going to McDonald's or going to Tim Hortons and eating a bunch of food that I know I shouldn't, but I need to eat something so then I resort for garbage food, okay? And that's not cool. Um, but the, I saved the best for last, okay? Uh, so Bruce is going to pick up the camera. Let's bring it over here. I'm just going to show you my little meal that I had made. Um, so just get a quick little look in there. Um, so it looks nice and tasty. I don't know how that's going to look in the camera right now. Looks but I got, I got two amazing. juicy pieces of steaks um, or meat, which I cooked from steak. And I trimmed all the uh, fat off of it and all the bones. And then I made this this uh, 
vegetable salad. I actually don't even have a name for it right now as I'm shooting the video. I'm completely drawing a blank. But I've got a Tupperware container. Actually, this is a Pyrex container in glass. And I don't know what it is about the glass. Um, well, I do know other than the fact that it, it's not toxic. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of the plastic containers out there. Some of them might be fairly safe, but I just find that food tastes better. My water tastes better in glass. My chaga is in glass. Beer and wine just taste better in glass. Um, and my food tastes better. So I, I have a bunch of these containers. I make up my food and I put it in here. So the cool part about this is I always used to make excuses about, you know, I don't have time. I'm busy. I'm on the go. I don't have time to cook in the kitchen or I didn't get groceries or whatever. It's just stupid, silly excuses and it's not acceptable. So the old saying that I'm sure a lot of you have heard before, which is if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Okay, so all you have to do is keep it very simple. And this month's recipe is going to be this vegetable salad. Uh, but off the top of my head, there's chickpeas in it. I've got some onions, there's cucumbers. Uh, put some red peppers, some orange peppers. Uh, put some goat feta cheese in. You can use any feta cheese. I just prefer goat's cheese. Um, what else did I put in here? Um, I think I put some celery in here as well. And then I also had some brown rice pasta. Today I actually used some kamut pasta, which is pretty simple. You put it in the pan, you boil it for seven to 10 minutes. You don't want to get it too soft. Uh, but this is a cold salad. And from start to finish, it was 45 minutes from preparing, from cleaning and washing all the vegetables. From I had the steak marinating the day before, so did a little um, work beforehand in that regard. Got the barbecue going, started preparing the vegetables, cleaning them, washing them, getting all the stuff moved off and then chopped everything up, put it in, uh, basically put some olive oil, some salt, some pepper, some sea salt, I should say, uh, some pepper, uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and then a little bit of roasted red pepper, Renee's roasted red pepper salad dressing. I find that that's a, a great mix for this, but you don't need a lot of salad dressing, even just olive oil and um, some freshly, <laughs> freshly squeezed lemon juice works just as well. Um, and then I just put the meat in on the top. So if you're vegetarian, Cool, just don't eat the meat. Or if you're a meat eater like myself, I love meat, uh, good quality meat by that. And I'll make my veggies and then I'll have my meat. And so now I got, I've got a big bowl, I've got a big Pyrex container like this full of a cold salad like this. And for myself and Adrian, my fiance, it'll last us probably about a good three to four days and it actually tastes even better. I shouldn't say the longer you leave it, but if you let it sit for about 12 to 36 hours, it tends to, everything soaks together, the flavor sits in. So that's my nutrition tip for you this month, and it is unbalanced, so I hope that you can take some of these tips and apply them into your life and get lots of value out of them. Um, if you guys would like to hear more about certain topics or if you'd like one of our coaches to talk about something, about, an, about injuries, about stress management, um, about anything like that, uh, then just send us an email, reply back to this email uh, if you're getting the pinnacle press that is, and let us know so that we can serve you better. And until next time, enjoy your vegetable salad, and I look forward to seeing you. Um, in the club and if you want to bring me a taste I'll try it out for you and give you some critiquing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next month